So beautiful subject, nice soft light, nice background, clean on the snow. Hey everybody! What's up? I'm Steve. I'm trying to make a YouTube video today and I'm trying to make a photograph today and I have no idea... Oh, I can't take these off, can I? I have no idea what that photograph wants to be but uh, I have the afternoon off from family and work duties. Uh, this is technically work though, right? Uh, but anyway, I decided to come out, go up into Grand Teton National Park and uh, see if I could make one nice photo this evening. So what time is it? I got two and a half hours. And last time I was out, I got super lucky. Uh, and I'm very much managing my expectations that this time will be even remotely that good. Uh, the grizzly bears mating, that's what I'm talking about. Um, if you haven't seen that, uh, check my YouTube feed because it's in there. Uh, but anyway, I don't want, every day's not like that. That was like a magic moment, but, um, I'm out here today just looking for one good photo and there's a lot of good potential this time of year. Obviously you can see it's still snowy out there. Uh, it's a beautiful day, 50 degrees and we've got migrating birds coming back. So I've seen some bluebirds flitting around and I've seen some sandhill cranes walking around. Uh, bears are coming out. Um, you know, there could be foxes and coyotes and you know, all kinds of stuff, lots of potential. So I'm going to put my sunglasses on cause I just came out of the trees there. Um, and so anyway, that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm looking for one good photo to make today and, uh, also to make a video as well. So, um, I'm just going to keep cruising around in the in the vehicle this evening unless I feel inspired uh, to get out and cruise around. But the snow is going to be really tough to move through right now because it's 50 degrees out and anything, even with skis and snowshoes, is just like, you know, chugging through mush. So uh, I don't have enough time to move around much right now other than in the vehicle. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, I'm uh, waiting. There was a pair of sandhill cranes out on the snow. Nice, beautiful, clean snow with a, like an orange willowy background. Uh, but they were kind of in the willows and a little too far away. It seemed like maybe they were working their way back here. So um, I'm gonna hang here in the car, kind of as a car blind and see if they keep coming this direction. Um, I'm giving myself a one in Five chance. <laughs> All right, the sandhill crane thing didn't work out. The uh, one in five seemed to be pretty accurate. So I left there and now I'm at the oxbow and there's a lone otter out on the ice, but he's about 250 yards away. So I'm waiting for him to see there's it's still mostly icy. I don't even know if you'll be able to see this, but so it's mostly ice. There's a little bit of water here in front of me and then the otters way out there. Uh, so I'm just kind of hanging in here for a few minutes. Going to watch him one because they're cute and fun. And two, because if he decides to come running to this open water here, I might be able to get something out of this. And I do see some old tracks. So otters have been here. So I'm going to hang out here again now and hope maybe this one works out. I'm going to go with this one, maybe one in five also, though. We'll see. So the uh, the otter, the otter didn't work out either. Sand the old crane on the snow with a nice dark background. It's actually pretty nice right here. 
I need to raise a little bit. I can get more of the bird. It's really nice. Soft light. But he's up a little above me here, so I'm getting like a blurred out foreground with the snow. And it's actually a little too blurry. Um, the background is only good in one little spot here. There's a little bush there that I wish wasn't there. And I'm not sure if I can get rid of it. Well, it's a tricky background situation. Um, see if the video can show what's going on. So I've got those bushes over there. And then I've got the beautiful bird with a little bush next to him. Nice dark background. And then those bushes behind him. So that's the reason I positioned myself here. There's only one little slot there where the background's really nice. Uh, I go forward a little bit more. I think I'm going to maybe try that in a second. Um, I'm not sure what the terrain's going to do. I think the train might get too high that I can't see him. So this might just be the best I can do here. Um, which is still beautiful. Quite nice. If he would start walking around, that would be really cool too. Yeah, let's see, he's moving. A little bit. I'm gonna back up a little. See if I can get that bush out of the way. And bang, right there. Now I need him to look at me. Looky, looky, there we go, beautiful. There it is, way cleaner. I like that a lot more. Go for vertical here. Whoop, lost him. Shoot, he just went over the edge. See, that last image was real nice. Uh, nice, clean, dark background. Really sweet. There's a little bit of heat wave out there. The sun just went down. So the temperature differential is changing things a little bit. This time of year, when you find one, there's usually another one. But I'll bet the other one's over the edge. I can't see him. Okay, sweet. So there was my one good photo of the day. Like, it, it was a really boring video, right? <laughs> And even that part wasn't that great or exciting, but uh, that's what I'm after out here today. You know, after a killer day with the Grizzlies on the last video I made, uh, it, it, there was no way I was gonna be able to top that. So um, anyway, my expectations for the day were way lower, and now I just met them with one nice photo. So beautiful subject, nice soft light, Nice background, clean on the snow. I think it's uh, a really nice photo. So I'll show you that photo now. Um, I believe I was at F4. I had the teleconverter engaged there uh, on the 402.8. So I was at F4, ISO 500, and one four hundredth of a second. And uh, that's plenty for a bird that's barely moving. Four hundredth of a second is plenty. If it looked like he was gonna fly, I would have cranked that up real quick to get to a thousandth. And uh, that was great. So with that, there's the lesson of the day is get out there and try your best for one good photo. And often you'll get one good photo. So I'm psyched about that. I'm now currently on Moose Wilson Road so I'm heading back towards town. Uh, the sun has gone down here on Moose Wilson Road. Um, it's still up on that far side of the valley. And I'm gonna keep cruising Moose Wilson Road here. I've got another, what, 15, 20 minutes of light. So I'm gonna zip down and back, see if I can see anything else. And if not, I'll talk to you in a minute here with a wrap up, but we'll go just in case something else nice is out. You know, it's the right time of day and uh, the light's beautiful and soft and I paid a lot of money for this F2.8 so I can use it in darkening conditions. So hopefully something good will happen. That'll be it for today. So uh, 
Probably not my most action-packed, exciting video yet, but also not very long and um, mission accomplished just in terms of making that one nice photo for the day. So uh, top priority every day is to have a good time. Um, and actually the one nice photo thing for me, I think it, it helps me to have a good time out here because my expectations or my desires can get in the way of actually enjoying myself if there's pressure to make like 10 good photos and make a kick-ass video and uh, it's just not realistic most of the time. So um, if I have a realistic goal and a realistic expectation to, you know, just try and make one good photo out here today, uh, I'm much more likely to have a good time and not like over pressure um, myself in making like a bunch of great photos, which the opportunities just aren't there all the time. So uh, I had one good photo op today and I think I made the most of it um, and it turned out real nice. So um, I had a blast too. It's just nice to be out and like making the photos great, but smelling the smells and feeling, feeling the fresh air and uh, getting some sunshine and saying hello to a couple of friends out here on the road was just wonderful. It's not always about making, you know, a ton of great photos and my, my kind of one photo desire helps keep me in check and allows me to have a better time out here. So another great day. Um, thanks for following along and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.